Roman here with Basic to Final, just doing a quick channel update. First things first, I want to say thank you to all of the subscribers and all of the new subscribers as well. I really appreciate everyone's support. I want to say sorry for the lack of DCS content over the last few months, but uh, good news, that should be changing going forward. I've got a few news items for you. First things first, with the imminent release of the Viper, I'd like to announce that I've been working on a uh, Viper EFB, it's an electronic flight bag slash uh, performance calculator, and it's in Excel. It's still work in progress, but uh, hopefully as the Viper develops I'll be able to get this finished up. Uh, it basically uses performance documents, um, performance manuals, and I've gone through and clicked along the curves, set up uh, equations, and the idea being uh, you can configure your weight and it will calculate V speeds landing speeds, uh, fuel, all sorts of good stuff. So uh, that's a work in progress. Still have more information on this going forward. Uh, second thing, I think the uh, Hornet uh, QFB was pretty successful. So I've actually been working on the same thing for the, for the Viper. And it's still work in progress. But uh, going forward, I'll be working on this. And the Hornet one, I've actually been working on that one as well. And I'll be updating that one. It's hard to do... Uh, stay on top of it when it's uh, early access, but I'm going to do my best. I've had a few people ask about the VMFA 251 training module series. I'm sorry to announce that uh, series was discontinued, but on the other hand, I have joined the 476 and I've definitely enjoyed flying with them over the past few months. Learned a lot about the A10C and uh, flying with people working as a team. It's been uh, a lot of fun. Some really great people over there. So I'll have some more A10C videos coming out shortly. And lastly, a few housekeeping items. I've upgraded the video recording resolution to 1440p. That should help people out with big screens. And I've changed the audio setup. Hopefully you can hear a difference. It's a Audio-Technica AT2020, so hopefully that improves the audio quality. I've definitely got a lot of syllabants, but I will be working on that as well. Thank you everyone.